Hi guys, my name is Dave and welcome back to the Album Review Channel. Now, continuing our look at the debut album of Roxy Music, I ask, is Lady Tron a classical love song or a cautionary tale of deception? Join me as I dive into the mesmerising sound and enigmatic lyrics of this iconic track and let's find out for ourselves. So Roxy Music was formed in 1970 in London by a group of talented music musicians including Brian Ferry, Brian Eno and Phil Manzan. Their sound was a unique blend of rock, pop and art music that earned them a huge following in the 70s. Lady Tron was released as the second single from their album which received critical acclaim and helped cement their place in music history. Let's take a look at the track and come back afterwards to discuss. Okay, so we're starting off here on the um, Brian Eno's magic box of tricks. Oboe solo now from Andy. Quite space-like noises going on here. Very distinguished folk style. At the start of the season, and my only reason is that I again. Costume as he's uh, creeping epaulets on his shoulders. Green eye shade as well. So long he was the um, epitome of cool Brian Ferry. Terribly serious. So futuristic. Hmm. 
Okay, so that was Lady Tron and as different a track as you could ever hope to hear. So this track is a true masterpiece of its time with its opening synthesizer riff, immediately capturing your attention and holding it through the entire song. Brian Ferry's vocals are simply hypnotising with his signature blend of smoothness and sultriness, creating that unique sound that perfectly matches the mood of this song. The lyrics are just as enigmatic as they are beautiful, leaving a lot of room for interpretation. Some listeners believe the song is about a robot, given the repeated references to Lady Tron, which is a type of electronic instrument. Others think it's a metaphor for a woman with a cold, detached personality. So, the track itself is the combination of guitars, drums, synthesizers that creates that unique sound with the oboe coming in there, adding a keen edge to it. The synthesizers in particular were quite groundbreaking for the time, with Eno's innovative approach to music production leading to a sound that would influence countless musicians in the decades that followed. Really, that's all I have to say for our reaction to uh, Lady Tron. I hope you've enjoyed this video and make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll leave a link to the reaction to the first track, Remake It Remodel, on screen now. See you next time on the Album Review Channel.